day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Kenneth Rhino Beer. Uh, this beer is from the Southern Tier Brewing Company in Lakewood, New York. This is the Southern Tier IPA, or India Pale Ale. It is made with four types of hops and four types of malt. It is 7.3% alcohol by volume. <laughs> it's going to be good, but get her. Get her. Get her in the shitter. What do we got here? We got a, a glass and some sort of Shinto shrine thing with hops and a star and 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 the uh, <coughs> not oak leaves like wheat 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 stalks. Um. Uh, yeah, that's that's a, a tiny bit of haze in there. Nice head, a gold color. Uh. Mmm. Smell that. Oh. Kind of smells like a uh, air freshener. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> some pine salt. There, there is pine salt there. <laughs> like some Mr. Clean with some flowers mm. and oh. some potpourri. Oh, some it's a gin beer. Pine it's salt. Like it's gin beer. Give it a sniff, boy, Chuck. Yeah, it's a flowery gin beer. Oh. Yeah, there. It actually kind of smells like there might be some juniper berries in there. Uh. Maybe some some dead queen. Yes. It actually, really, guys, it smells quite good for a uh, for an IPA. It doesn't smell quite as good to me as the last one we did that had a little bit of malt in it. I'm kind of excited for this. Uh, truthfully, it if it was just citrus or just the earthy tones, I'd be okay with it. It's that floral tone that's scaring me. But you gotta <laughs> oh, try it. The rhino scared. Mmm, that's good. That's, uh, it's strong. It is. It is strong. There's grapefruit, and there's the hops, the strong hops. It has a strong front, and it finishes just only mildly bitter. Oh, and it builds. It builds on itself. This, this shit's fucking pretty good. It's a southern tier, of course. These guys are... These guys are brilliant, man. This is an excellent IPA. Okay, the bitterness does build with each sip. But a good way. I, I know you're not an IPA guy, man, but fucking... You get, you get a lot of citrus. There's a lot of grapefruit. There's a little bit of lemon in there. Um, you get some, like, piney, cedary notes to it. Then the floral comes in. The floral is the only one I don't like. Well, of all of all the flavors I'm getting from the hops, the flower flavor is the one I don't like. Yeah, but but it terminates the the bitter. Like the bitter comes in strong, like like yeah. almost almost for too what it strong. could be. For what it could be, it does not emanate down your throat or back up your throat. It kind of just well, that's what I mean. Like it, it comes on, you're like, oh god, here I go, super bitter hops. And then the floral kicks in. It, it like wait when wait when you think it's gonna be too much. It the stops bitterness it. stops right at the back of your tongue, basically. Yeah, like, yeah that's what I mean. Before it even goes down your throat. So I mean, there is still an emanation of bitterness in my mouth as I'm talking, but it's not down my throat. It's right at the back of my tongue, sitting there. And the floral's a nice balance, man. And the more you drink it, the better. It, it, it it's perfect. Like this, this is this is an IPA, full on, hundred percent IPA. And like. I actually really like it. As I said, the only the only complaint I have is that floral flavoring. I don't like the floral hops. I like I like citrusy. I don't mind I don't mind the woodsy, but I hate the floral. And truthfully, this is this is actually well mixed. These four hops that they picked in this mix very nicely. Yeah, I'll shove my dick there. And uh I would give this an eight two five out of ten. I give this a nine. It is a it is a premium IPA, ale. you know, or IPA uh, India Pale Ale. Uh, it's well balanced. Um, it, um, no, we don't have an IPA dance. It, it's solid. How come I'm always the one that gives a score and no one's like, what are you guys? Oh wait, wait, sorry. I did it last time. Fuck you. You people all strategically vote. I give it an eight point two seven. I don't. Eight point two seven point four. It's because you. That's two decimals, motherfucker. Stop being an asshole and drank. Who in this group, other than you, would give an IPA a nine? Um, James. 
No. No, <laughs> no not at all. James is never given one over not. six. The he two, hates two. IPAs. I'm doing the IPA cock dance right uh, Okay, here. cock dance. Right, 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 right. I want to see some dick out. <laughs> dick out. That's terrible. Boo, there you go. A little bit of thrust. Wait, wait that has to go in your mouth. Let's go. More, <laughs> more power. There we go. The IPA cock dance. <laughs> There you go. YouTube, you should vote, because that's a terrible dance. And no, you should no, vote, no, vote no, terrible. No, no, that's exactly how dudes dance at the dance club. They're like, hey, cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's awesome. See, that was worth Ask it. Her. I, I want to see I want to see that dance again. I want to see that dance again. When you got like dudes with a pop collar all doing the cock dance at you? Ken, there are no pop collar dudes anymore. They died. They all lost in the douche show hipster war. The hipsters won the war. There's no douchebags left anymore. The douchebags got genocided by hipsters and now now there's douche hipsters, but there's no actual douchebag anymore. Douche hipsters. Right? That's that's Those right. Are race traders, right? Yeah, no, I wouldn't go far as to say that, but okay. This is, of course, if Alicia's not at the place. If Alicia's not at the place, they're not going home with anybody. But, just saying. Sure, Tim. Whatever. Whatever makes sense. What's that? What's that? What's that? I got you to challenge the standby. What? Oh! My own hubris is my undoing again. Hubris. 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 Hub